The Devil's Chord is probably the episode of Doctor Who Season 1 that we know the most about so far, but what do we actually know about this episode? Okay, so like I said, The Devil's Chord is probably the episode we know the most about for Doctor Who Season 1 or Series 14, coming later this year. But in the past week, we've had a couple new news articles about The Devil's Chord that give us a lot more information than we knew already. But before I get into that, I'm going to go over some of the basic details we know about this episode. The Devil's Chord is the second episode of Doctor Who Season 1 and will be dropping on May 11th, the same day as Episode 1. It will be written by Russell C. Davis and directed by Ben Chessel, and we know this is going to be an episode set in the 60s with the Beatles in it, with Jinx Monsoon as the villain. But speaking of Jinx Monsoon's villain... In a recent interview with Empire Magazine, Russell T. Davis has confirmed that Jinx Monsoon's character in The Devil's Chord will be called Maestro, saying, And as for Jinx, she actually stepped off the stage after a Broadway run of Chicago to get straight on a plane to be the character of Maestro in Doctor Who. And I think we can say she enjoyed that part somewhat. It's a performance and a half. With Shuti Gawa adding, she absolutely blew us away. It was so cool to see her transfer her skill set to this show. She fits Doctor Who so well. Now, the word Maestro, as well as meaning teacher, can also be translated to master, which has led some people to believe that this character could be revealed to be the master at some point. Although I personally don't think this is true, I think it's more likely that she is just an original character because she seems to be one of these new supernatural characters that we've been getting since Wild Blue Yonder and the Toymaker. And obviously the master isn't really known for having these supernatural powers that this character appears to have from the trailer. Obviously in the past he has been able to hypnotize people and stuff like that, but I personally just don't see this as being the master. I think it is more likely to be an original character, but that is a fun coincidence that my Maestro can mean master, so there is always the possibility there, but let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Now, in the trailer, we do see Maestro saying, you called, you called, as they appear to be coming out of a piano. Now, this has led some people to speculate that this could be a TARDIS, but for me personally, my theory on this is that when the Devil's Chord is played, now that these supernatural villains exist, the Devil's Chord summons Jinx Monsoon's Maestro into this episode, and they have to defeat her somehow, probably by singing a song, because it seems like this episode is is also going to be musical and have at least one musical number in it. But it is obviously entirely possible that this is a TARDIS as well, so let me know what you think about that as well in the comments down below. Now, as well as this, the Devil's Chord is a real-life musical chord known in the music industry, but it also goes by other names such as the Tritone and also Triad. Now, we know that a character called Susan Triad is possibly going to be a big bad of this season, and there is going to be a company called Triad Technologies. Now, I do find it likely that the word Triad is going to be mentioned in this episode, but I don't personally think it's going to be connected to Susan Triad and Triad Technologies, but I do think the word Triad is probably going to get mentioned quite a lot throughout this season, and could be this season's equivalent of Bad Wolf or Torchwood in Series 1 and 2 of the original RTD era. But let me know what you think about that as well in the comments down below. Now, in the same Empire Magazine interview, it was also confirmed that there won't be any Beatles music played in this episode, which, although disappointing, this does make some sense, because Beatles music is notoriously really expensive to license. But this has left a lot of people disappointed, obviously. We now know that there's a lot of Disney involvement and Disney money, so I can imagine some people are expecting that to help and allow them to spend this money on licensing for Beatles music. But like I said, the music is notoriously expensive, even with Disney money, and I can imagine they just just probably wanted to spend that money on other things than licensing some really expensive music and also when it comes to home media releases of this season and any other future box sets with this episode in it they would still have to pay even more money to license out that music which would just become really expensive and take up a lot of the budget even with that Disney money which I believe is also the same reason we got a separate BBC trailer from the Disney Plus trailer with David Bowie changes song in it because I assume that BBC version without the David Bowie music in it is the one that we're going to get on home media releases because that song too would be extremely expensive to license out for home media in the future. So as disappointing as this decision is, I personally can see why it ended up happening and for anyone complaining about it or being really disappointed, you just have to understand that this is just how these things are made and these things just kind of have to be done. You can't just choose to put Beatles music in for the sake of it and it not have consequences in the budget and stuff like that. But I can understand why some people are 
disappointed by this. Now, from this interview, Russell has hinted that this will play a part in the plot of the episode, saying, I knew instantly you can never play Beatles songs on screen because the copyright is too expensive. So I'm thinking, how would you do a Beatles episode without Beatles music? And that becomes the entire plot. That's where the idea came from, copyright law. So with this information and from what we see in the trailer, my theory as to how this episode is going to go down is that Jinx Monsoon's maestro is going to trap the Beatles in their instruments early on in the episode and the Beatles aren't going to appear that much in this episode and the main plot is going to consist of the Doctor and Ruby trying to save the Beatles and get them back into existence or from being trapped in their instruments by Maestro and I believe that's also why we get those shots of the Doctor showing Ruby destroyed London because I think that's possibly a butterfly effect that's been set up in episode 1 showing what the world would be like if the Beatles weren't there and why they need to save the Beatles but let me know what you think about that theory in the comments down below but that's just my theory on what Doctor Who the Devil's Chord from season one is going to be about. Let me know what you think about this theory and if you have any different theories yourself in the comments down below. What do you think this episode is going to be about? Do you think I'm right? I was going to have a different video out today that I've already made but I just really felt like I needed to cover this news and make a video about it because it was very interesting news and tells us a lot about what this episode is going to be about but that video is probably going to be next week's video now and if you want to watch that it is already available on my Patreon page or if you become a member so I'll make sure to have that on screen now if you want to watch that early. You might even be seeing it a couple weeks early because maybe we'll get some news next week that'll push it back again, but we'll see.